I'm going to model this little Martin guitar. It is a little Martin, sort of like the Ed Sheeran guitar, or maybe exactly the Ed Sheeran guitar. Um, but my goal is not going to be to uh, create something that's really realistic and uh, UV mapped and textures and stuff like that. What I want to do instead is create something like like this, maybe a little bit more interesting, sort of like a charm uh, that you'd wear on a necklace or something like that if you were a musician or you'd put it on your desk and it's a little model of a guitar. Okay, so something a little bit cartoony like that. All right, so um, I'm in Blender 2.76, and Cycles Render, front ortho view with my screencast keys on, and I've got my image in the background, relatively centered, I hope. And I am going to do this uh, using a curve. And we're gonna go through and try to get the outline of the guitar first. Okay, so here we go. And uh, just before I go much further, I uh, think I'm actually going to change the opacity of my image so I can see a little bit better. Ah, get off there. Okay, so. Again, I'm not going for um, incredible realism. I'm not good enough uh, to do that. So I'm just going for uh, sort of a fun, a fun view, so if that makes any sense at all. How's it looking? It's coming along. here um, that part's going to be behind the neck so it's not critical I think what I'll do is I'll uh, duplicate this curve and rotate Z180.
Okay, at this point, I'm going to uh, join these. I'm just going to convert these into a mesh and uh, play around with it. Um, these at center Same there, and uh, that's good enough. Put a face on it, eat extrude, and again, I'm not going for realism, just something, some fun. So, there's the overall shape of my guitar. Take the the, uh, the ends. Let's see if I can do a, a decent bevel right now. Yep. Okay, nothing too crazy. Just something like that. Okay, very nice. Wireframe mode. Okay, I'm gonna bring in a a circle. Rotate X ninety. It's just there. Hmm. Looks a little off center. Well, I'm going to go with uh, what I see. Uh, I mean, with my model. <coughs> now, because I'm not putting textures on this, I'm just I'm going to actually give this some uh, geometrical shape, space, whatever. All right, a little bit anyhow. So I'm gonna extrude this up just, just a little bit. That's probably okay. frame mode and I'm going to hit I and we'll come to something like that like that now um, I want to try something here and I, um, I'm wondering if this can bevel or uh, do a boolean into uh, into the surface below. I would assume that it probably can. Uh, let's make sure how my normals are facing out. I want to try something. I want to try this though. Okay, we're not going to do that. OK, 
Okay, so instead what we're going to do is we are going to um, not do that. We're going to hide this. We're going to take this and we are going to move it back up. And uh, I think we'll leave, leave that part like that. edges, give it maybe two segments, uh, we'll be joining all these together for smoothing purposes, let's try uh, subdivision surface, and here and we'll uh, do that <laughs> maybe we'll do that in the middle too let's push it down okay we'll work on smoothing and stuff later on I'm just wondering if there's any kind of interesting design I can do on this. Um, like that's kind of cute so we can keep that okay very nice all right let's come down we're going to do work on this part let's think about how I'm going to do this maybe we'll bring in a plane rotate X Must have been on another setting. We'll just see if this is a good way of doing it or not. And I'm not sure that it is. to me it's kind of cute though
close to? No, it's not. Actually, let's bring this back a little bit. That looks okay. All right. Let's, let's go with that. Go into it. Give it some thickness. first round things off a little bit and then we'll see if we can get all the way around I don't need to do the bottom let's try pulling back on this a little bit putting a couple segments in there give it a bit of a bevel and a shine. Okay. It's not the most round thing ever, but it might not be a good value, but I, I will be combining things together later. Ah. And uh, that will change everything. Okay, it's the flat piece right now. I'm gonna make sure that it is as it is. Here. Alright. Um that's fine. I may just adjust the position of of these in a bit. Let's let's do this piece here though. Um, I'll bring in another, I'll bring in a cube this time. Okay, and for this guy, let's grab that and that. Control B. Give it a few segments around it like that. And let's see if we can grab that end and this end. And do the same a little bit. Now, you know what? I think I need to do rotation is good. Yeah, I probably should have done that before I beveled it at all anyhow. Okay. That's fine. Just so it catches a little bit of light. Okay, let's uh, rotate this in the Y. do these strings there I'd rather do them straight across and to tell you the truth I'd rather have that straight I'm gonna start with it like that and it, it, it might be wrong but it just I just find it it, it looks better well we'll see we'll see I might change my mind and, and do it the real way okay so uh, let's go ahead and do those uh, little pegs we'll bring in a circle Oops, came up on an 
angle. Ah. There we go. Control V and pull back nicely. I'll give it a bunch of that. Now these are those the pigs. So uh, move it out a bit. I don't know if I really need to put anything on the underside. I might want to though. Um, what I might do is extrude and pull it down and just scale it in. Let's pull it down a bit more. Well, this is going to go into the body anyhow like that. Let's try this and bring it in. You know, just sitting up a little bit like that. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm going to come out for the moment um, straight and if it looks weird we're gonna fix it it might with this rounded part let's have a look at that though all right I think we will follow the diagram then Shall we? As best I can, anyhow. So furthest down, maybe. Next furthest, the next one. This one a little bit up. Up even a little bit more. And up the most. I don't know if it looks like a straight line or not. Turn this, rotate in the Y. Okay. Um, the only thing I might do, honestly, just because of how close it is, is I might move these up a little bit, just like that. Okay, great. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, join some of these pieces together. as a circle um, I don't think I'm going to do it as a cube we'll keep it simple all right let's see how far down she goes if I can I'm to hide this Width yet. Scaling the X. Kind of like that. Maybe getting a little bit of shadow as well. Scaling the X a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, and then this cuts and there's a little piece left over. Okay, that's, that's, that's all right. Let's uh, grab all of this, pull it right down. Now let's uh, not forget to scale it this way.
we'll do is um, I'm thinking that what am I thinking that this should be more here no I'm not gonna do that this is still not attached but I think um, What I think I need to do, I think I need to grab the outermost edge of that shifty, P to make a new selection, take that, fill it, need extrude, I'm just going to slam it back there, but I don't need any subdivision surface on it. So I calculate it, and I'll even do an, an apply in rotation and scale. Let's hide this. I want to make sure that this cuts all the way through the neck. I like that. So let me take this Boolean difference with that. Hide. Okay, and unhide. Let's get rid of this thing. Though. Could go something like that. Now, um, <clears throat> what I think I'll do next is um, what will I do next? I kind of want to do frets and then see if I can taper the neck. So let's. Uh, Select what have I got? An edge. Yeah. Okay, let's bring the cursor in there. Okay. Shift A, cube, scale it quite a bit. And I'm gonna make it fit almost right across the neck. there. Almost. Almost. One there. One there. Last one. One there. Let's have a look at that. That doesn't work. Let's just get rid of that one. Okay. Now, 
may have some issues because I still want to try to bevel these. Let's see how well this is going to work. No, not yet. Are so good. I'm just curious to know. Do I need, I won't be able to get an edge loop in there, but I could use the knife tool. Uh, let's go back in the wireframe. Um, I'm far down, eh? Just wondering if I need there and there and took those and scales at zero to straighten what if I took that I, I just want to see brought it down and um, I don't know scale in the X a bit and maybe uh, you know again we're just doing sort of stylized guitar here um, not a great way of doing this but like can I just bevel those took it right well, yeah maybe it did um, you know just as an added little feature <laughs> I told you it was stylized yeah, accepted that's fine that's all right I can live with that all right now The 
moment I'm going to just extrude that and say I'm going to do, do something there with that. You know, like I'll, uh, I'll bring that up above the bevel and make a some kind of head knot there. But in the meantime, Can I just so it's going to be a little bit off the diagram? Do something like that where I just build it right off and can I at this point just for the head do this deal with the right amount of smoothing and how we're going to apply that um, later on and bend it maybe no, that's not great I understand but we're not going to see that so for the time being I'm going to come back in here and um, now if I do this, hmm, interestingly enough, it doesn't go very far. So uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me just double check something. I don't care about the underside anyhow. What I want is this, 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 and this one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll control bevel it. I'm okay with that. On and then, oops. some stuff here um, let's just take that cursor selected bring in a circle rotate x90 scale it down okay so I'm not sure exactly what I'm seeing there but of what to do just to make it look all right it's not going to necessarily look like the real thing it doesn't have to in my mind i'm just going to I'll show you what i'm going to do f 
Okay, let's make sure all the polys are. Okay, facing the right way. Yeah, okay, so what I was thinking of doing was. Just insetting it quite a bit. And then coming up like that. And then I'll let it just bevel off the top. So doing that kind of thing. And then I may do a bit more work on that. Uh, Coaster selected. And then bring the in. Excuse me. Yeah, a six sided uh, cylinder. And I need to rotate X90. You know, and, and, and putting that in there, scale and Y. And I don't even need to put a hole in it. It's just, you know, do it like that. Uh, so scale it out. No, not that much. Scale it in the Y again. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Well, yes, actually. Scale it in the Y. scale and then I can do that so we'll get a little bevel on there we'll do the same on this of course a little bevel on that and that's kind of what I was thinking of doing although it doesn't have to be uh, that thick and it could come in like that Lower down. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to join these two things together. And you know, and then it's debatable. It should be a little deeper in. Now, where they go roughly, I suppose I could have done one side and mirrored the other. It doesn't matter. And then I'll make it come in a little bit. And a little bit more. joining these babies to the head not much more to go All right. let's try the um, you know what I'm saying the tuning pegs uh, da, 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 da. so like a cylinder that shape I mean I've played with them all my life but what what exactly do I do to make that it's almost like it's almost like this tell me I'm wrong but it's it's kind of almost like I don't know I, I expect it to be much smaller, but I, I actually want to try this. Is that enough? Or, uh,
why it just for some reason it seemed like that to me. Oh, what am I doing? It seems something like that to me at the time. surface can actually and I might do that I know it doesn't look exactly like a real tuning peg exactly in some ways I guess it does I don't think I want to start messing around with it What a waste of polys, though some of that is. It looks to me like, yeah, what can you do? Now, looks like we get, do we get an angle issue? I don't know, I just wanna make sure that this is lined up with the uh, st the strings. Um. I'm just thinking that uh, let's let me actually just can I just can I mirror these over like this? Just is it just one at a time? <laughs> what I was really th thinking of doing. this kind of thing a little bit of that twisting a couple of them maybe that one there maybe I'll do uh, or this one Do 
switch the other way. Tiny bit like that. Might as well do this one. You know, just something, something like that. Um, yeah, it's come along pretty nicely. It's not as thick as as the real guitar would be, but that's okay. Now, for strings, what I I'm thinking of doing. Uh, let's just uh, put the cursor there. What I'm thinking of doing is, uh, not that, bringing in a path, rotate Y90, nope, that's not right, rotate X, I'm rotating, no it is rotate Y90, it's just in behind. Just this kind of thing. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. This is why I don't always like to do strings. Just to have strings on there. Uh, rotate. Z180, I'm getting confused here. Yeah. Okie doke. So that's ridiculous, right? Yeah, it starts to get ridiculous. Oh, shame, shame, shame. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go uh, uh, scale x is zero. I'll straighten you out. We'll do the same for you. Scale x zero.
what I wonder is because I always have trouble with, with this part. Here's what I wonder. I'm going to show you in just a second. Now they're all the same gauge string, but okay. Is it possible for me to use that same deform, that taper? And why are you doing that? Not a good sign, huh? Okay, hang on. We'll do it in that orientation. do anything for us I'm kind of thinking the strings are too small I'm not gonna worry about it though Cursor there and if I grab all that like that no I'm gonna need to go further than that well, at least all these vert vertices let's see what happens if I um, Okay, 
So what I what I'll do uh, with these uh, smoothing problems, I mean, I can mess around with uh, with these, try different numbers. Often uh, around twelve works well for me, as long as everything else looks relatively smooth. Um, we can go with that. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be okay. Um, yeah. So there you go. Um, that's basically the guitar right there. Oh, I'll rotate it on the uh, around the X or X ninety. No, not let's not do that. Okay. Well, let's make sure it's all joined together. And now that may adjust some of the smoothing. I think we're okay though. Ah, yes. <laughs> we have that. And uh, potentially, let's take another one out. And rotate around the X. And rotate around the Z. GL render, you know, and that's basically what what it, it ends up looking like. Nice, cute guitars. Uh, I could uh, call this uh, little Merton. Little Merton. And what I've been doing lately, and enjoying doing, I don't need that or that, is uh, finding little Merton. H I J K L. Where is where is she? Where is she? There she is. And bringing this into GIMP. Interesting colors. You know, do that, and then uh, I keep do I keep doing the same, the same effect. So I just I just like it. I think it looks really cool. You know, you get you get something like that with the little with the little Martins, and then I'll just overwrite that, and then we'll have a look at it. There you go. So that's uh, that's what I came up with. You know, that's a lot of fun. <laughs>